today's story is called Holler Loudly. Holler Loudly. Holler Loudly. Cool. Mom and Daddy Loudly named their baby Holler because he cried so loud. So loud that the pecans fell from the pecan trees and the prickly pear cacti sprouted more needles. So loud that every hound dog in the county rolled up his ears and tossed back his head to bay. So loud the armadillos woke from their naps and the turkey vultures dropped their feathers. Hush, folks would holler. Hush! Mom and Daddy loved their son. They tried everything to get Holler to speak more softly. When he was a baby, they said, hush, nicely. When he was a toddler, they said, hush, sternly. And finally, when he was old enough to go to school, they found themselves shouting, hush, but it was no use. Every few generations, a loudly baby was just born loud, and Holler had been a lucky one. Good. Holler loved school. He loved art and music. He loved reading and writing. And he loved facts and figures. But every time he exclaimed, yippee ta ya yo I love math, his words came out too loud, so loud that Mr. Smarty's chalk burst into dust and the students ducked for cover. Minnie Bell said, hush, nobody cares. Jimmy Joe said, hush, you're annoying. And Mr. Smarty said, hush, no recess for you. Holler didn't like missing recess. How he wished folks didn't mind his voice. Turn the page. Turn the page. Holler loved to go to the big old theater. He loved to stand in line for tickets. He loved to sit in the velvet seats. And he loved to see the show. But every time he exclaimed, yee-haw, I love movies. His words came out too loud, so loud that he rattled the chandelier and flattened Miss Poofy's hairdo. The ticket seller called, hush, I'm trying to count change. The lovebirds called, hush, here comes the previews. And the usher called, hush, you've got to go. Holler didn't like having to leave the movie theater. How he wished folks didn't mind his voice. Holler loved fishing with Gramps and Gus. He loved baiting his hook with tamales. He loved floating in Gramps' boat. And he loved catching catfish. But every time he exclaimed, Yahoo! Let's land a big one! His words came out too loud. So loud that the boat tipped, sending him soaring, crisplash, into the lake. The catfish yelled, Hush! We're out of here! And Gus yelled, Hush! There goes my dinner! And Gramps yelled, hush, no more fishing today. Holler didn't like being all wet. How he wished Gramps and cats and catfish didn't mind his voice. Catfish. <laughs> it's a catfish. That's a catfish. Yeah. Okay. This, you want... this is a catfish. Yeah. Okay. Turn the page. Holler was feeling blue, so Mom and Daddy took him to the state fair. He loved cotton candy. He loved the Ferris wheel. Yeah, it's a bull. That's a bull pit. That's a bull pit. Bull pit. And he loved the prize winning livestock. But when he called, Sooee! Holla was so loud that the hogs broke free. Then the cattle stampeded and the whole fair shut down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mama's patience had run out. Daddy's devotion had worn thin, but Gramps' barbershop quartet was singing in town square, so they went to hear it. Holler loved Gramps. He loved Gramps' cat Gus, and he loved their barbershop quartet. Howdy, looks like rain! Holler yelled over the singing. Hush, Daddy scolded. You're a distraction. Hush, Mama scolded. Nobody can hear the music. Hush, the whole town scolded. That's enough. So finally, Holler hushed, and the quartet crooned on. 
It didn't seem fair, though. Nobody was telling Mr. Smarty to stop thinking, or Miss Poofy to take down her hair, or Gus to give up fishing, or Gramps to forget his songs. Did folks want Holler to hush forever? Being loud was part of who he was. Would they ever appreciate his company, voice and all? Hang on. Holler took comfort listening to the quartet. He loved songs about cowboys, and he loved songs about best girls. He loved songs about love and little doggies, and Holler realized something. When he was quiet, he could listen better. Quiet times could be just fine. Now we can turn the page. Just then, Holler looked to the sky. A tornado! It could flatten the town. Right then, Holler knew in his heart that sure, there were times to be quiet, but there were also times to be loud. All righty, he bellowed so loud that the land rolled and rumbled. It rippled and shimmied and shook so loud that ten-gallon hats soared into the sky, so loud that Mama and Daddy, Gramps and Gus, men and women, boys and girls, sailed whoosh, plumb off their boot heels. Go away, Holler shouted at the tornado, which blew a raspberry at him. I mean it, he threatened on his way to the gazebo. Bah, ha, ha, laughed the twister. Oh, it's loud. Yeah, that's loud, isn't it? Listen up, you big bag of wind. This here is my town, and you'd best skedaddle. And Holler was so loud, so loud, so absolutely, positively, knee-shaking, earthquaking loud, that the tornado blew into a thousand sweet, teeny, breezy breezes, not one with an ounce of sass. And loud. Yeah, he's loud. And loud and loud and Yeah, it started to break up. It was official. Not only was Holler the loudest boy in history, he was also a hero. yippee ti yi yo everyone hollered, Yee-haw! Yoo-hoo! Yahoo! Yahoo! sang the barbershop quartet, and Mama and Daddy sighed, All righty. In the future, Gramps declared, When you're loud, nobody's going to mind. Let's turn the page. No, no, turn the page this way. Yeah. So they all joined hands, cheered, and danced till the cows came home. From that moment on, Holler was quiet at quiet times and loud at loud times. The townsfolk were so delighted, they put his name on a... <laughs> The townsfolk were so delighted, they put his name on a very important sign. Ooh, let's see what sign that is. Holler Loudly Public Library. Please hush. The end.